Hi everyone, it's Paul from uh, Haunting Nights. Just doing a quick hello. From uh, Bronigar Hospital, it's our first, first event um, at this fantastic location. It's an abandoned workhouse dating back to the 1800s. Hospital uh, and then an old people's home. Closed quite a few years ago now. And we've got access to all areas um, tonight. So the teams are off just doing a couple of control videos. We've got a team up on the top floor, which is like the old workhouse. Um, and we've got a team out in one of the outbuildings in the, the mortuary, just doing a quick control vigil. So I just thought I'd take the opportunity just to uh, maybe show you around a little bit. It's a maze of a place. It's a massive, massive location. And it's it's raw. It's real, real sort of basic ghost hunting. I'm just gonna turn the camera around so you can have a quick look at what I'm seeing. It's just awesome place. So we've got everybody checked in tonight and we are in um, Gwynedd in North Wales, not far from Port Madden. And we've got people come up from Exeter, Essex, Norfolk, Peterborough. So people have travelled a long way for, for tonight. So hopefully they're going to have a great experience. We're here till three in the morning doing the actual control vigils. And then we're sleeping over in these hospital beds. Yeah, it is absolutely amazing. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, got a couple of minutes now to spare before we um, sort of swap the groups over. So I'll just sort of say a quick hello and just give you a little bit of a, a look at the place. Anybody that likes abandoned buildings, this is. Um, I will take you over to a bit later on. Sorry, the signal's bouncing a little bit. I'll just come out. Um, yeah, I will take you over the prison wing a bit later on. Um, it was a prison wing in the, the days when it was a, a early Victorian workhouse. And it was used for hard labour. And the way people that were put in there earned their keep, if you like, earned their food, they had to break up boulders uh, small enough to pass through a grill in, that was in their cell. And that's how they got food. Okay. This is just heading back to our... A um, little bit of a base room that we've got. So just, uh, there is just so many rooms. I'm, on, I'm just on the ground floor at the moment. Um, there are three three floors um, to this uh, fantastic location. Our base room is actually one of the one of the wards. Uh, our base room where we're all set up for for the night. So we'll, we'll do some various other lives as, as we go through the night. Um, just take you outside a little bit. Yeah, so we're, we're in North Wales. <clears throat> we had originally um, planned to just do one date this year, but this location is fantastic. We have secured further dates. And yeah, it just shows some um, people are prepared to travel from Exeter, Cheshire, Peterborough, Um, so yeah, I really, really hope they get a great experience tonight. So I'm just going to go for a walk up. Just give you some idea of the size. Not sure how long this location is going to be around for. It is planned to be turned into a, um, a hotel. Yeah, the other dates will, if they're not already, will be on the website very soon. But yeah, definitely recommend this one. Um, there are, yeah, there's no other location like it, to be honest, that um, is available in the UK at the moment. I would say there's, um, that was the uh, isolation ward for um, TB. It's not usable at the moment because of the floor, but maybe it will be next time. Right at the very top there, I don't know if you can see just in my torchlight is the mortuary. There is a, a team in there at the moment doing um, doing a vigil. Um, so I've put the other group on the top floor. 
so I could just uh, come and say a quick hello. Where else are we tonight? Um, Hope Bradley, Bradley Mayer gone and done a done live. He's over at Ripon, Ripon Workhouse, another workhouse. Uh, we've got Edinburgh on tonight as well. The ghost interactive ghost walks, taking in uh, Greyfriars and obviously the Mackenzie Poltergeist. We've also got uh, where else are we tonight? Oh God, Skirid Inn. Yep, yeah, everybody's favourite Skirid Inn investigation only night down at the Skirid. Oh, lights come on. Okay, this. Dead walk round the side just to give you some idea of the size of the place. And that in the distance there seems quite random, but it's a prison wing. And I'm going to take you in. Um, yeah, push my comforts on a bit to be honest, but I'm going to take you in just quickly. Um, we are going to be using it for a vigil area um, once we've done the two control. That was my shadow. I was jumping at my own shadow. Would you believe it? <laughs> now this is dark in here. Uh, it is untouched for about 200 years. But we're going to go in. Anybody that's been to Jedburgh Jail, it's like that. Okay, I think there's 14 cells, and towards the back of the cells where the mesh was, or the, the metal plate, where they, not like in this to be honest, the metal plate where they broke the, the stones. Got you on a stop watching West Ham. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm not reading the comments. I'm, to be honest, I'm a little bit uncomfortable, to be honest. Um, yeah, usually all right, but this, knowing that Nobody's going to hear me scream. Um, yeah, it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. But yeah, it's untouched. In fact, in this one, I think, is it like a three or hundred year old bed or what's left of it? It's, say it's, it's raw, it's, it's perfect. So anybody who's considering coming here, do it. Okay, not going to be around forever. Um, locations like this are rare. I can only liken it so if anybody remembers a few years ago, um, the Towers Asylum in Leicester, but this is better. It's more, it's even more raw um, and having this, <laughs> yeah. And it's no restrictions. We're not sort of restricted to zones or anything like that. It's, it's just access all areas. So it's absolutely a fantastic location. Um, if a location was built for ghost something, then it was this one completely separate to the rest of the hospital okay yeah how are we doing everyone are we all okay um yeah got you on to that west ham kirsty hi yeah hi all yeah it is Brad, has Bradley done a live from ripon tonight i've not been watching we've been busy sort of finding a way around this place so uh, i'll we'll try and do some more lives a bit later on we've got a lot of people um well, a lot of people. We only bring 30 people here as a maximum anyway, so we can get the best out of the location. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of people sleeping over tonight. So they've all brought their camp beds and air beds and stuff, and they're going to be sleeping over till the morning, which is great. Oh, light. Okay. Yeah, just give you some ideas. It's spooky as hell. And inside there, which I am not going in, is like a walled garden. And it is believed that some of the poor unfortunate souls that lost their life in the prison. <clears throat> going out of focus. Yeah, they're in there. <clears throat> so I'm not going in, but I'm sure some of the guests may go in a bit later. we got coming up um oh, next next week yeah double clock tower in bristol great little location absolutely love it there um oh, paul the guy's house with the paul the guy's house tonight as well in rotherham the uh that isn't a figure it's a suit of armor or something um 
Yeah, Potter Guy's house is on tonight. Yeah, next week we're down at the Clock Tower in Bristol. Great little location. Um, Calvin and Hatch Bunker, I think sold out. I think we might have a few places left on the Friday Clock Tower. We're there both nights. Black Swan in New York, which I think is sold out. Calvin and Hatch have said that one. Oh, Woodchester Mansion, again, I think he's sold out. But yeah, we will be coming back here. So keep it on the website. If it's not on already, it will be. Um, tomorrow, um, get booked on. 49, I think, 45, 49, can't remember, but not extortionate for a full sort of 9 o'clock till 12 hours. Ghost on, sleep over. Yeah, just down near the road. Lancaster next week as well, but yeah. down to the main uh, main entrance what we're doing is we're doing two controlled vigils one we've got half the people in the workhouse area at the top and we've got half the people with team members in the mortuary and what they're going to do is they're just doing um, a calling out seance type thing no equipment nothing um, and then they're going to swap with the team in the mortuary and they're going to swap over keep the tape team, team, team members the same they're going to speak on the swap over and then they're just going to Head back to the base room after, have a quick break and just sort of compare notes. It's something we've been doing recently. That's been working really well. Some of the, the similar experiences and activities we've been getting has been, uh, been amazing, especially when, you know, it's done controlled and they don't actually see each other on the changeover. So we thought we'd give that a bit of a go tonight just to get us, plunge us straight into the dark and get us ghost hunting. And then we're going to split into vigils. So as we split into vigils, then I'll try and drop back on and maybe sort of do a bit of a live from, from the vigils while they're doing them. Um, their investigation techniques okay so hopefully um you're all having a great um evening and um yeah just if you are up and about in an hour or so then um keep around things i'll pop in and say hello to let you know what's going on but in the meantime thank you very much see you later bye bye